In this video we're going to talk about how you can break information down into separate parts. Say for example we have a system where we're recording customers and orders. Now we could put customers and orders within a single table. So every customer has an order within that table. The problem is you're going to be repeating a customer many times. So say John Smith could have five orders so you'd list John Smith five times and also with his five orders will be listed as well five times. Now the problem with this is is that you're going to get repeating data, your table is going to fill up and it's going to make reporting and querying and things like that very difficult. Now the way around it in Access in any relational database is to split the information up into separate tables. So you have to look at um, what's termed as facts. Now what is a customer? Well a customer it, it represents a fact. An order represents a fact. Um, and that's how we can separate things out. So instead of having customers or orders in the same table you look at how you can separate the data, what the actual meaning is of each word and uh, break it down like that. So in this case we'd create a separate customers and a separate orders table. So in the database window here I've got that customers and orders. Um, I'll go into the design of the orders table. Okay, now as I mentioned before for every table we need to de define uh, a record which is going to be unique. So I've declared this one as an auto number and it's got a primary key here to show that this is going to be a unique row and no duplicates are, are allowed here. We've also got something else here called customer ID. Well, what is customer ID? Well, this is the primary key of our customer table. So if we look at the customer table, we can see that it has a primary key of customer ID.